And let's learn about heart blocks and I'll be sure to follow it up with a pop quiz. But before we get into it, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. Let's begin with the first degree AV block. What makes this degree different from all the other heart blocks is it has a constant PR interval that is greater than 0.20 seconds. So let's understand how this occurs. This is where there is a split second delay in the time it takes the electrical pulse to move through the AV node. A little bit more about your first degree blocks. The rhythm is regular. The P waves are upright and normal and the QRS is normal between 0.06 to 0.10 seconds. Here are some nursing considerations. Your first degree heart block can be associated with medications that prolong the AV conduction, such as your beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and your digoxin. All right, moving on to your second degree AV blocks. There are two different types, and what makes these heart blocks different from the others is that there is a dropped QRS beat. These blocks are differentiated into two different types, beginning with your second degree type one, also known as Mobitz one or your Winky Bach. Take a look. What makes this rhythm unique is that the PR interval becomes progressively longer and longer until it drops a beat and produces no QRS complex. The AV node recovers and the cycle is repeated. So let's understand how this occurs. From the SA node, with every impulse, it is delayed and is slightly longer and longer than the previous PR interval. So the pattern of the PR interval progressively gets longer until an impulse fails to be conducted from the ventricles, hence it will reflect as a drop QRS beat. Some different nuances are with your second degree type one blocks. The rhythms of the atria is regular because the P waves are constant, but the ventricles are irregular because of the drop QRS. Regarding P waves, there are more P waves than QRS complexes, and the QRS is normal in size anywhere between 0.06 to 0.10 seconds. Some nursing considerations. One cause for this type of heart block is from an ischemia of the RCA, which is your right coronary artery. Another reason can be medication induced from your beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, or digoxin. Moving on to second degree heart block type two. The PR interval can either be prolonged or normal, but is constant and it will drop a QRS at any time. So the atrial rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute and the ventricular rate is a lot slower than the atrial rate because of the missing QRS beats. The atrial rhythm is regular and the ventricular rhythm is irregular due to missed QRS complexes. The PR interval is prolonged, but constant or normal. And some nursing considerations, bradycardia can decrease cardiac output and create a complete heart block that can occur with an MI or from cardiac ischemia. So if the patient is symptomatic, it may cause like a weak pulse or mental status changes, dizziness or shortness of breath. All right, let's move on to the last heart rhythm, which is your third degree AV block. What makes this heart block so unique is the atria and the ventricles have no conduction and are totally absent because of the complete electrical block, also known as complete heart block. Some highlights, the atrial rate is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. The ventricular rate is between 40 to 60 beats per minute. The PR intervals vary greatly. The P waves are normal upright, which can be superimposed on the QRS complexes or T waves. And the rhythm usually regular, considering the atria and ventricles act independently of each other. Some nursing considerations. With your third degree AV block, it can be related to ischemia that involves the left coronary arteries. This is your patient that will likely be symptomatic with symptoms of fatigue or dyspnea. As cardiology will be on board deciding on potential next steps with likely plans of a permanent pacemaker. Now let's test your knowledge with a pop quiz. Number one, which heart rhythm is this? The answer is second degree AV block type one, also known as Mobitz one or Winky Bach. Rhythm number two, which heart rhythm is this? The answer is first degree AV block. Rhythm number three. Now let's identify this heart rhythm. The answer is third degree AV block. Rhythm number four, let's identify this last heart rhythm.
The answer is second degree AV block type two. If you want more of this content, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.